Probably you need to store some data locally in your phone. React Native API has async storage. It's a super simple, asynchronous, persistent, key value storage system. If you check the documentation, we have three important methods. Get item, set item, and remove item. Names are self-explanatory. Let's see this working. We are going to create a screen with our name and phone, and then we'll save this. Let's also have a button to clean and save in the database. For testing, we'll write something, close the app, and open it again. We'll do it first time without persistence, the second time with persistence, and then we'll see that we are really persistent the data. Here is the code for this screen, and we have two fields in our state, name and phone. Let's create a method to clean the data. Here I'm cleaning everything on async storage. I could just delete the keys we are just using. But here I'm using the method clear for the sake of learning, just to simplify things. We should bind this method in our constructor. This method clear data is called in the touchable highlight on press function. Let's create a method for persisting the data. Let's call that persist data. We need to check once the app starts, what you have persisted. To do that, we'll use the component will mount method, which is just a lifecycle method that is called once when a component is added to the view. So the component will mount method will just call the check method. And the check method will get the item's name and phone and will set the state. Let's check that. If I close the app, it will use my method check and will get the data from async storage. Now you know how to store data using React Native. There are some libraries you may use to do that. But now you know how the React Native API does that for you. Hope you enjoyed.